Good day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Preceptor of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Today we've got a Columbia record, more spoken word, DX940, Christopher Hassel reading his own poems, while there is youth to come, and omnipresence, and finally Sonnet 39. And I enjoyed the other side of this record, so here we go. Let's hope it doesn't uh, disappoint us. While there is youth to come, while there is youth to spend, I'll go greet my little lover and take her by the hand. All in the pitch of pleasure when April yields to May, we will our hearts uncover, and what we say no white shall overhear, press he never so near. Contentment so complete and our response so sweet, the vulgar eavesdropper will never understand. Hot is the sun, the sun, the breeze, how passing bland. There shall be no delay, my darling, to find. By the appointed chestnut, under the communal sky, all the good laws obeying of Cupid's eye. Robin and little thrush will bring about a hush, feeling their native air wrapped in a wonder rare. Hellbound the berry bush, humbled the wind. At oak and spreading beech, elms in their grave array are pleased all together throughout the land for juiced and jocund summer, for their unstinted leaf, the kiss of kindly weather and the long-promised sheep. They can our mystery share, drinking the enchanted air, for they have heard of old many such secrets told. But should a mortal dare, he would not understand. Now is the day a joy to be remembered only, and round about lean shadows expectant stand. Come, my adored lover, to where the strange night jar repeats his silly woes to the unhelping star. Ripe beans snore in the pod. No one's abroad but God, who rides the neighing year, and should he overhear, he will put by his rod, and smiling understand. There is no loneliness for me. I see you in the dotted stars, in all the plenty of the leafless sea. Even the rush-hid nenuphars suggest your personality. You forage with the pirate bee. How wonderful that you should share with her her time-old loveliness. Does she not lend her softness for your hair, and can no other way express what thrushes down the years have sung? but through the sweetness of your tongue. You descant with the droning bees, and when the skylark's hymns are done, I hear strange echoes drop among the trees. I pluck the crimson snapdragon and feel you shiver through and through, for spirit has gone out of you. A fortnight in a farm beside a stream, shelling new peas, or dipping in the books the previous lodger always overlooks on his last morning, sitting back to dream your special dream, or following the meadows in quest of thought, making a detour around the alert and head-on bow, hearing a sound like a bead curtain made by wickering shadows that their initials on the air, that twenty days of nothing till the hour of vision quiver open like a flower. Then, utterly alone, with none to share your dread, to see the uncovered eyes of birth and death and all the kingdoms of the earth. Well, those were jolly good, weren't they? I've just been looking up Christopher Hassel. Apparently he died, uh, not literally, viewers. He died in 1963 after running for a train. Had a heart attack uh, on the train whilst it was uh, moving. Dreadful. Age 51, which is terribly sad, isn't it? Oh, well, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you and goodbye.